Hi guys, so this is my 14th time filming this intro and I'm not going to edit anything. This is just the way it's going to be. I have a script. There are cats because my mom likes cats. It was funny the first time I said it. Anyway, it's 3 a.m., probably 4 a.m. by now. <laughs> um, I'm pretty tired, so that's why I cannot function. Um, I have to tell you some stuff, otherwise I won't be able to talk about the lampshade I'm making. We're making a lampshade. Just letting you know. Because some... <gasps> and there's a moth. Um, okay. So we were shopping for six hours for my vintage room because I'm changing my room to be like vintagey and it's going to be really awesome. So um, I will be having a room tour hopefully up next week if everything gets done. Um, my sister bought all this stuff for me, the lamp for my birthday. Um, this is a, not a fun DIY, but it is cute. It's, it's really not fun to do at all. Like sometimes making bracelets is fun, but like this isn't fun. I'm sorry. I'm just going to tell you. Um, and my birthday is September 10th. I wanted to tell you guys that before, but I didn't. I got a blister because the hot glue went directly on my finger, and then I peeled it off right away. I didn't let it dry or anything, and the blister had already formed, so I have this. There's going to be a lot of bloopers at the end of this video. So I had to tell you guys all that, but now I will talk about the lamp. So, oh, and I forgot to show it to you guys before, if I didn't already say that. So you don't really get to see the before and after. Maybe I'll try to find, like, a stock picture of it and show you before, but you'll get the idea. So, and this is more for inspiration, how to, like, decorate a lampshade than, like... It's not like that interesting or anything, you know what I mean? But it's really pretty, so it's more for like inspiration. Um, we got everything at Walmart, um, like the base and the lampshade. And we got a yard of lace, but you definitely don't need a yard unless you don't know how to cut like us. Like we cut out like nine of these or something. I don't even know. Um, but we're using that for other DIYs. And we got all of this stuff, this lacy stuff, um, also at Walmart. Um, but we did need to go back and get uh, more, but they didn't have this kind. So we used a different kind, which they're almost the same, but this one's a little bit pearlier. It sounded like I said prettier, but like pearlier, like I had an accent. Um, yeah. So this is just really simple showing you the methods I use to do it. I hope you guys like this DIY um, and <laughs> okay I said I wasn't going to cut things out. So I hope you guys like this DIY and um, definitely be looking out for more because I have a lot more to do before um, my room is done. So make sure you look out for that and make sure you watch for bloopers because there's going to be a lot because there were 14 other intros. So um, yeah, I guess we're just going to get into the video. On the lamp, I decided to do these little corners because um, I thought this would be too big and honestly it would be too hard to cut out. Um, so once you have your shapes cut out, which is to, I don't know, whatever thing you're doing, just cut them all out the same. Um, and then we're just going to take some Mod Podge and one of these little spongy brush things. You can take whatever you want for this. Um, and I also have the one that's like a luster finish. Um, but anyway, what's that? What's a Cat hair. Awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to start by dabbing here a pretty thick layer. But don't do it all the way up because that's really hard to do. Um, so then lay the end down and just kind of pat it in. And then you can just, dang it, make sure it's on right. Okay. And then just flip this back to where you ended the glue and do this the whole entire way up. Alright, so after you have um, all that on, you might have missed little spots, so you can just go over that once it's done, like once you have the base layer on. Um, I usually just like miss the edges and stuff, but after you have 
basically it all coated. Oh, and also you can put like glitter on the glue underneath. Um, if you want it more sparkly, I didn't want it like that, but that's really easy to do. Just put the glitter and then put the lace over. Um, that would give it a really cool effect also. So as you see, some stuff is sticking out, but that's okay because once this is all dry, which will take about 15 to 20 minutes, um, I'll just cut that off and then I will show you guys the next step. Okay, so I'm just going to set this on the lamp and not put the little top piece on because then it spins around really easily. Um, and what I did so far is put this on the bottom and I'm just gonna put this on the top. And I was thinking about putting these on the side, but I think that'd be too busy. But um, you can do that if you want. But I'm just gonna put it on the top and I'm just using some hot glue. So, sorry, you're not gonna be able to see this because our glue gun cord isn't very big. But just put some glue on there and I'm facing this like downwards and I'm just gonna put it on and then you can just tap it with your finger if it's not too hot and that's basically what you do all around you just glue and then you put it over and you just spin it around once you get to the end you can just trim it off and you can just glue that part down but mine's already glued down um, so that's what it looks like for now so now what we've done is put some of this lacy stuff on the sides um, but we also put beads like we alternated it this is like lace and then this is like beaded lace and then this is lace and then we'll show you just really quickly how we put them on so we just take some hot glue and run it down the side And you can cut this beforehand, but I just did, and I actually messed it up, so um, just stick it on, and then you just basically tap it down the whole way. It's really not that hot. Um, once you have something over it, except for I did just burn some of my skin off before, but that's why I'm not doing it, my sister is. And you can let it go, like, all the way down, like as you see like past here like you could cut it there but we are cutting it above because that's what we had to do for the other stuff because we didn't have a lot of the other stuff left um so if you're buying stuff like this even if it says like like this one like it says six feet on there somewhere i don't know if it's in the back or something yeah six feet but honestly i mean like six feet fit the bottom this and then two of these so just make sure you have extra so you can see like you guys can't even see but it looks so much cooler like the lace because you can totally see the lace like it honestly looks so cool and you can't see it you know that well on the camera but it really it looks nice in person and actually like this stuff almost looks like goldish which matches the base so I mean it wasn't the easiest DIY like putting this stuff on you know I got a blister and everything and cutting this out was actually kind of hard but once you have it cut out the stuff cut out and you mod podge it on it really is simple from there just make sure you try to get enough stuff but yeah so I think that this is really cute and I mean, it's so easy to customize something for your room, especially, you know, if you're using, like, lace like this to make your own curtains or something and you want to tie in, like, a lamp with um, your room. So, yeah, I hope you guys like this DIY, and, yeah, I'll talk to you in my next video. So, in the beginning of the video, I'll say where I got all the stuff from, right? I don't know how to make a video. I'm just talking to myself. Oh, this is just going to be a little frazzled video, isn't it? Okay, so as you guys see on... Well, okay. Sorry. So customize your own lampshade. And I know that this... Oh. Do you guys see that? See how it's an open blister? Oh, what was I going to say? Oh, it's gonna hurt, 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 it hurts, it hurts, oh, 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 oh.
Oh, oh. I got a band-aid. Ow, ow, it stings. It stings really yeah, bad. Yeah, it's gonna sting. Mm -hmm. Talk through it. I'm starting, no, I'm starting insulting. Lamp, so. Store, cause like, I don't know, especially like, I don't know. <laughs> no, guys, so this is my fourth time filming this <laughs> intro. Start over, I'm laughing. It, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's write a script. <laughs> Hi guys, so this is my seventh time filming this intro. I'm on it too, which is bar time, so like, it's really scary. But okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cool lamp, and um, you guys, since... So this is my eighth time filming this intro and I honestly like don't even know why I can't film right now. So yeah. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I'm going to write you a Don't write me a script. Can you just write me bullet points of thing to say? Hello? Going to be making a lamp for vintage room. 